CNN, you said that you care. Here we go. Here comes Tim Pond's time. Mm. Said that you know, listen, watch him obfuscate the question. He doesn't ever answer the question. He is asked specifically. You said, and we can play the video. You said that you carried weapons in war, not weapons of war. You said that you carried. Remember, this was when he was doing an anti Second Amendment speech. Where he was talking about, I don't want other people carrying the weapons that I carried in warfare. That I carried in warfare. That is a direct quote. He's asked, even Dana Bash decides to ask a, finally ask an actual pertinent question, a meaningful question, instead of the Nerf balls that she was lobbing for basically the entire interview. But so she asked him a legitimate question. Watch Tim Pond obfuscate the answer. Play for me, Ness. The uh, country is just starting to get to know you. I want to ask uh, you a question about how you've described your service in the National Guard. Mm. Uh, you said that you carried weapons in war, but you have never deployed actually in a war zone. A campaign official said that you misspoke. Did you? Well, first of all, I'm incredibly proud. I've done 24 years of wearing the uniform of this country. Equally proud of my service in a public school classroom, whether it's Congress or, uh, or the governor. Uh, my record speaks for itself, but I think uh, people are coming to get to know me. I, I speak like they do. Um, I speak candidly. I wear my emotions on my sleeves, and uh, I speak uh, especially passionately about uh, about our children being shot in schools and around around guns. So uh, I think people know me. They know who I am. They know where uh, where my heart is. And again, my record has been out there for over 40 years to, to speak for itself. And. The, the idea that you said that you were in war. Yeah. Did you misspeak as the campaign has said? Yeah, I said we were talking about, in this case, this was after a school shooting, the ideas of carrying these weapons of war. And uh, my wife, the English, she told me my grammar is not always correct. But again, if it's not this, it's an attack on my children for showing love for me or it's an attack on my dog. Uh, I'm not going to do that. And the one thing I'll never do is I'll never demean another member's service in any way. I never have uh, and I never will. I just want Nobody has demeaned your service, Tim Pond. Nobody has. Nobody has demeaned your service at all. We are talking about you lying about your service. And automatically when he's asked by Dana Bash, you said that you carried weapons of war when you are never deployed to a war zone. That has nothing to do with your service. Me attacking your service would, would be National Guard sucks. What were you doing in Italy? I mean, all you know, all you ever did was go to Italy. Problem with him being in Italy is that he was claiming that it was at Bagram Air Force Base at the time he was stationed in Italy. True. That's the problem. Nobody's attacking Tim Pond's service. They're attacking his lies about his service. I was standing on the tarmac in Bagram watching American bodies be loaded up. Well, that's an absolute <laughs> fabrication. At that time, he was stationed in Italy. That's it. He's just bold faced lying, absolute bold faced lying. Answer the question. And he never actually did. He said that his grammar was bad. It's, it's not a grammatical problem. Grammatical problem is we can do what we've accomplished so far. <laughs> that's that's the grammatical problem. That was that was that was uh, spoken by his goofy predecessor sitting to his left. And by the way, why on earth is CNN have that showing as live? <laughs> liars, Pravda Media liars wasn't live it was recorded and the uh, harris waltz campaign refused to release the transcripts of it why would you want i'll release the transcripts of everything i do why won't they